what they're doing today is they started a 20 hour coding course that gradually gets more and more difficult and they're programming some popular games like Flappy Bird and Angry Birds and Frozen and Star Wars to kind of get students involved in coding since many careers in our future are going to be centered around technology and we're going to need a lot of computer programmers. It's basically just making things move. It's kind of how like, yeah, like there's sequences and you have to put things together and make them move to like, yeah, it's so you have to say like turn right and then turn right or move forward. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah. So what the second graders are doing today is they're working on a program called Lightbot and what they're able to do is they're able to use coding and use computer science to get their little guy to move where they want to go. So when, when, you, when you grow up and you have to um, like, um, have a job, you, are, you, have, you have to um, do computer stuff yeah, and you have to like do math and everything so you have to use a lot of electronics. The fact that we're able to put iPads in our students' hands and they're able to get to work with a partner and really um, have hands-on experience and use these programs is huge. They need it. It's going to be their future. It's the way everything is going and able to do that in our classrooms is, is a huge thing. It's all part of the uh, Hour with Code and they have all kinds of opportunities to code many different types of games. Some are artistic, some are more uh, game-like. Just a big variety of things and they're really enjoying it. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's something out of the ordinary and that's what I like. Like, it's helping us with like robots and stuff and the future. I was thinking I'd be like a pilot and maybe it would help me with that. To me, it's all problem solving. Um, some of the students get a little frustrated when they're trying to walk and cut down a tree or whatever they're doing and it's all about stepping back and rereading the directions and solving the problem and kind of outside the box thinking kind of stuff too.